Unit 1, Introduction. What to expect from this course? Well, in this course, we will look at different aspects of food production systems in the urban landscape with an eye to the management of those systems. We will break down food production systems into sections and look at those sections in the following units. You will be expected to complete all the assignments for each unit. And some units will include labs or field assignments, so follow proper safety practices when completing those assignments. So what are the assignments and what are the expectations? Well, each unit has assignments that must be completed. Assignments may include the following, and generally do. Uh, viewing the presentation. If there's a presentation such as this for the unit, you should view it before doing other assignments. And in this course, each unit has a presentation. Reading assignments. These may be either in PDF files or web pages. For the PDF files, the Adobe Acrobat Reader is required. Um, it's available free uh, from Adobe for all the platforms that you might be using, Windows, Mac, uh, Android tablets, um, that sort of thing. Um, multimedia assignments. These might be videos within the presentation system itself or videos on YouTube or other video content websites. So there may be links to these videos that you need to watch. Discussion groups. Each unit will have a discussion question, and you must participate in the discussion to receive credit. You need to read the instructions regarding participation in discussion groups. It generally requires an initial post and a follow-up post, so you have to enter something in a discussion group twice, uh, in most cases, to receive credit, and within certain time frames. Um, quiz. Some units may have quizzes. Um, if there are quizzes, they will be presented online. And writing assignments. Almost all the units will have a writing assignment rather than a quiz. Uh, writing assignments are generally short five paragraph um, assignments about what we've discussed in that unit. Timeliness. In general, each unit represents one week of work. You should complete the assignments for each unit before starting the next unit, with the exception that certain labs will take longer than one week to complete. In those cases, you must complete the lab in the number of weeks assigned to the lab, and that's usually seven or eight weeks. After all, we're working with plants, and they require time to grow and produce results for the labs. Other assignments, such as the discussion question, require timeliness, as I mentioned, and usually require multiple entries. Safety practices for labs and field assignments. When working in the lab and doing experiments, safety should come first. Know what you're working with. Know what to do if you spill something, either on yourself, someone else, or the tables or the floor. Know how and where to dispose of the materials before using the materials. Know where the fire extinguishers, fire alarms, and exits are located from the lab. Few of the materials you will use in labs for this course are toxic or hazardous, but proper handling techniques are still important. Okay, so that's it for our introduction and expectations.